Welcome everyone, it's the Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for you. I'll do it in part one and part two. Let's just start, shall we? I have pre-shuffled and shuffled, so I uh, will connect with you as always a little bit further. If anyone is new, welcome. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and connect. I really appreciate all of your energy. So I'll be doing a, an extended uh, sort of relationship love spread. So let's just see what is in store for you on the planet parade <laughs> date almost. Well, it's still the um, second, so that is the third, I believe. So what happened in the past in this connection? You might be dealing with a Libra. Mm. So someone manifested you, you manifested them. Both of you are very intelligent. You have your skills, you have your tools. This is a very powerful connection very powerful and is still alive and kicking this connection. Someone is thinking about you. Someone wants to come forward to you. Their feelings, oh my gosh, you have someone in love. We have the lovers. <laughs> that is a favorite card. Oh my goodness, this is the four of wands. What's going on collective? What are you even doing here? It's love all around. Maybe it's going to kick in during the love, par <laughs> love parade, <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> during the planet parade the love parade is a different type of parade <laughs> so wow look at this well the negative is that someone have been going a little bit slow just a little bit slow two steps forward one step back, the positive is that this person is not going to be slow for much longer. This could be a twin flame, you might have had a physical interaction with them over a longer period or a shorter period, but this person here, open your door, they might be outside. You might have Gemini in your chart, but something is going to happen now. I'm going to open the door soon. <laughs> no. Someone... Someone is here for you. There was a reason why I had to do this reading. Uh, Spirit said to me, you have to do this reading now. It's important. <laughs> okay, now. So. You know, someone here is aiming to, okay, I need to move some stuff here now. They're aiming to give you an offer. They're aiming for an abundant connection. You have manifested someone wealthy. They want to avoid, they want to avoid a situation where you think that it's something about manipulation or maybe they're taking advantage or maybe if you're meeting on a social media platform or if you're meeting on a social media platform, they, they just want to get off that platform. They want to get off the platform and in front of you. This person have deep feelings. Now, they feel like you are their other half. This person is very excited hearing your name, watching pictures. If they don't have any pictures, it's driving them mad. They are just trying to pick, picture something in their head. But this person, they are also very calming. I'm not picking up someone that is in love with the devil, so there is so much possession that they cannot, obsession that they cannot uh, control themselves. This person is very calm, but they feel so drawn to you that it is a must, must happen. There is no other way than going towards you. Now, their hopes and your hopes, it is that they contact you, <laughs> that they just get things off uh, started, but a fears, there's fears. Fears is about you being indecisive. There's something about being fearful of you being indecisive. Now, okay, so you, okay, this person, this environment, and also yours, there's something hiding in their environment, possibly. Or they feel some kind of fear about something coming out, or this is just their environment is making it feel uncertain because they might not have access to you. They don't have anyone to speak to about it. Um, when it comes to other people, there is offers coming your way, um, but you are not interested in these offers. So because you have been disappointed in a love, it is 
likely that you are also easily sort of, uh, you lose the motivation, the momentum quite fast. This person don't want you to lose any momentum. They hope you know who, they hope <laughs> you know who they are. Their actions is, um, their actions is that they really want to come together in a social setting. What is unknown is something about a queen of swords. So there could be a third party, possibly, it could possibly be so. Or their intentions is to give you an offer. Now, your intentions is to take it slow. I'm seeing here, Collective, that you are not realizing that this person have such strong feelings for you right now and that they want to express it right now. You don't realize that. You have written someone off, not in a bad way, but you are sort of saying, they can't be interested in me or maybe it's not really so much about they can't be interested in you. It's to do with... You don't feel the connection right here, right now, but you have felt the connection. So for most of you, you are in this, I don't feel this connection right now. I feel kind of neutral, kind of ready to chop someone's head off. Anyone that doesn't come to me with an honest offer, or maybe you are not into the, your mind is not circulating in, a, in, in, a, in love right now. But spirit is saying, Get yourself a little bit loved up because, <laughs> because, because, because something is about to happen. Now, how they view you is that you put their heart, soul on fire. They know that if you say yes, everything's going to change. How you view them, you view them as leaving you out in the cold. Uh, and the outcome is that you feel like running away from this person. Okay, so someone clearly could have been wearing a mask in the past and you do not trust this person. But they have such strong feel, strong feelings for you and you are their wish fulfillment. This union, this connection, you and them, you have unfinished business, you have, fee there are feelings here, but do seem to not really want to go there. They definitely want to go there. Hmm. Um, there can be a few options around you and you could feel a little bit confused, collective. Who is, who is this? So see, you have four options. You know what you want. You want to celebrate. You want the union that is happy, bliss, and also a union that supports you overall. You want the king of pentacles. You want someone that's grounded, have their own life, have their own money, have their own everything. But something's happened to you in the past with love where you feel, oh, I feel kind of good now where I don't really, I'm not in my feelings. And boom, someone comes out of the blue. Someone that's been very slow. They're coming in with an offer. But underneath the uh, sorry, the next card, sorry, it is the King of Wands. There's a King of Pentacles. So it's possible here that someone is somehow coming towards you at the same time as someone else, which is why you could have mixed feeling and reaction. There could be someone that you definitely want to avoid, but then there is someone that you definitely don't want to cut off. So you might not want to cut yourself off from the world just yet. So we are going to clarify a little. We are going to clarify. Um, who is this person? And we are going to look into their feelings. They have the lovers. So they have the lovers. They could have involved a third party. So that's why they missed out, they are worried about a secret coming to light or they're sneaking behind their, yeah, this person have feelings, passion. Yep, this person have a lot of feelings for you. It's double confirmation of the lovers. It is possible that there's been a third party I'm picking up, there's been a third party and they have to keep something secret and 
away. They are keeping secrets from their environment. So what are they going to do? What is this person going to do? Yeah, they're trying to connect with you through social media. They're trying to find something out about you. This person cannot forget about you. They have fond memories about you. You awaken the inner, inner child. They definitely, definitely do not want to be left out in the cold by you. Why is the tower here and how they view you? They might have caused a tower and they feel that you have put them in a sort of a, um, yeah, you put them to one side because of a tower. Why is the tower? Uh, legal justice, something with an institution, something went down. Something went down, a circumstance happened, they really do, they did not foresee it. A circumstance came down that pulled this connection apart or pulled them away, they had to attend to this. It has to do with an institution, a work situation. Yes, that has to do with the work situation. I'm seeing that this person, they're both hoping and aiming for, to, to they want you to see them as single because that's what they are. Um, they have a failed marriage behind them. And there is a lot of ruckus because of that. This person here, they could be a business owner, they could be an Aries, could also have Taurus in their chart. They're definitely com coming forward. So what's the concern is the environment. There is jealousy, there is uh, limiting beliefs, something that they do not want to follow, <laughs> follow them where, to where they're going towards you. Their intentions is wish fulfillment. This person, yeah, their environment here could be a block. So they are trying to keep this secret. They're trying to keep someone away from, well, this situation. Now, they have to take a little bit of a risk they are worried about gossip, but they're going to take a risk. They are very sure of coming forward, but they have to take things slow, which could also be a negative because you might have divided opinions and feelings about that. In your case, it might be that you have lost momentum. You are not sure what this person is doing. You might even be sure of your own feelings at this stage, but you have the four of wands. So you have manifested this person. You have also connected with this person. It might be a twin flame, but you also want to get together with them. But I think you are not predicting that it could happen so soon. You are very much in a, well, it might happen one day, but now is not the time. So yeah, <laughs> but now could be the time. In a very short, like period, like within like two weeks, three weeks, I feel that you will connect with this person collective. Yeah, this person and you will connect. You could even travel and meet them. It's also possible. This person here is very, very serious about this connection. Yeah, absolutely very, very serious. Um, so let's uh, let's clarify the um the so the positive so the king of pentacles who's the king of pentacles they might have taurus they might have uh, air uh, sorry taurus um capricorn in their chart i get capricorn and aries where is the collective going to meet this person they could have Libra in their chart as well. Mm, this person didn't, it, it could be from your past. So then they have a child that didn't tell you truth, the truth, the, God, the truth, sorry. <clears throat> so it's, their environment could have caused something. And actually I did a short just before this reading. So someone could have done something to cause banner in the works for them to come forward. But this connection here is very, very powerful. Why is your intentions to be in the cold from this person? Why is that? Why is your intentions or how, sorry, how you view them? You view this person as immature, that they won't be able to give you a strong offer. Maybe you view them as living out in the cold because they're prioritizing father figure or something to do with authority, perhaps their career. And your intentions as a hangman is not to rush anything. Yeah, you don't want to rush something here, collective. Um, yeah, you don't want to rush something at all. I see that you are quite all right. What 
what you're up to right now, you're enjoying yourself. There could be a cycle closing. Yeah, your intentions is the Ten of Pentacles. That is why you're not in a rush. You are definitely not in a rush. I do pick up that you will have several options around you at this time. And you, it's going to be necessary for you to experience attention from a few people engaged because you have shut yourself off from fully love, opening to love or even being interested in love. You could even be a little bit cynical and you'll say, well, the last person I did love, that's what they did. And I actually have, I, I feel quite neutral about it all, but I'm not intending to throw myself into the lion's den. <laughs> so that is why you are taking it easy. But let me tell you, Collective, someone is about to jump out of the woodworks to <laughs> on your doorstep and this person is going to, um, they're going to offer you like love. This person could be wealthy. They want to treat you. I see there's a lot of sexual attraction. This person, for them, you are love at first sight. I see that you would like to celebrate with this person. I see that you also connect with them. But you might be a little bit cautious when it comes to there's something about, um, you are not sure, you are very attracted to them and you're not as attracted to them as they are to you. If you have your sword up, um, collective, some of you might have Gemini in your chart, anything else? You could be working on something, you might be going through an awakening or you've just received some kind of news and it might not have to do anything with love. You feel like a time out. For many of you, I'm picking up that you you want a time out. That's, that's what you want, to find yourself. But something will happen. You will have this time out. I feel that in your feelings, you know what you want, but it could come in so fast and you're like, wow, where did this come from? Most of you know who this person is, but you've had, you got together with them or there was an attraction, it started, something started, but then it died out and someone didn't move forward. So you might have brushed it off. Boom, this person is in front of you. Um, they've had to deal with a legal matter. They've had to deal with the Tower of Mormont and they don't want to get you involved, but they are going to come in and they're going to be quite sincere um, but you don't really trust the situation right now this is for most of you that haven't really had let's say a romantic relationship with them yet I don't feel like this person have ghosted you it just didn't move forward because something in their environment happened and then took took their time took them away and then at the same time you have been going through something um to do with healing and not really connecting so much with love because you have so much else on your mind at the moment so you're feeling a little bit uncertain for many of you are trying to find your own purpose at the moment and you're not really so eager you don't need someone to come and give you this offer at, right at this very moment um you they, they can take their time that's that's what i feel you're you're thinking so um collective uh i'm going to move sorry into the black rainbow i will do part two but i'm wishing you wonderful planet parade <laughs> experience i wish you a wonderful week ahead thank you for being here and i'm sending you so much love i'll see you very soon